everyone we hope you're all doing beautifully well today for something special i'm hope you're going to get into because i've been waiting to do this for a long time so this is credit of ltdogoop is the valued viewer that suggested this or something very similar and we're going to modify it slightly essentially his question was how do you hit an american carrier group a modern american carrier group and so we thought we'd turn this into a game. The way that you're realistically going to attack a modern carrier group is oversaturation. The only way you can really do it is just by launching so many silkworms and so many KN-22s that you oversaturate the defences, especially of some of the legacy vessels, like some of the older guided frigates and stuff like that, that you, some of your missiles will get through. It'll hit that carrier, and all you've got to really do make, is make a big enough hole on that deck, and that carrier becomes... Uh, essentially useless now we don't want to do that because it's not what we want to do we want to make it a little more interesting and a bit more fun so what we're going to say is we've got a, what we consider a realistic u.s carrier group here and we want to damage it but only with in the rule set that we've got here which is that we're allowed a maximum of two vehicles and those two vehicles have to be driven or controlled via combined arms by myself and RC. So we can't just launch a saturation attack of 35 backfires, each carrying three ballistic missiles. Yes, we could go and do that, but it's not what we want to do. It's just myself and RC. So we've got really got to think our way around this problem. So well, the first thing we considered was the, the carrier group is essentially invincible. If it's just myself and RC, if we put it out in the open ocean here... 200 miles away from any land it's invincible we can't get near it with just us two it's impossible so let's say a semi-realistic scenario and this has happened we think twice in history the carrier group would have had to have gone through the Strait of oman here which is of course when the most vulnerable because in real life it's where you would have had the iranian silkworms and keshem and whatnot so that's where we're going to hit them where they're closest to the terrain and we can use terrain to hide behind radars let's say we're uh, omanis and role play is just that the Amanis are going to attack. It's just going to work out slightly easier for filmmaking. And we've got a stretch there of about 18 miles between the nearest bit of terrain and uh, so let's say 20 miles between friends to the carrier. So 20 miles of actual sea that we really need to cover. And that might give us a fighting chance. Next, the objectives. Obviously, myself and RC can't kill a carrier group. It's just not possible. We don't have enough explosive to do it. So, realistically, let's say in our roleplay, we want to just embarrass the Americans. We want to put, and the rules we're going to make are £1,000 or more of TNT on that carrier there. No, it won't kill it. No, it won't stop it. It's almost impossible to sink a real carrier. We've had interviewed, what, two carrier engineers now, and they are incredibly... The best chance we'd have, actually have is sinking them is multiple torpedo attacks uh, at the weakest point. But we want about £1,000, and it won't really stop the carrier, but it will be a good show of force for Oman. So that's it. Those are the rules. We're going to attack the carrier from Oman. We're going to try and get £1,000 or more onto the carrier, and we can only use two vehicles each. So let's look at the constitution of the carrier group. This is what we consider a realistic 20-year-old or so carrier group. Here is our source. We have one time CV, and it's going to be a supercarrier, and it's going to have essentially infinite, for what matters today, infinite fighters that are going to respawn. They're going to be F-14Bs ready for scramble from that carrier. As well as that, ahead, clearing the way, two and a bit miles ahead, we've got two guided missile cruisers. We've got, in this case, Ticonderoga, and they've got VLS uh, ability. Performing the the blocking or the defensive role mainly is going to be the destroyers. So I know they show us cruisers here, but they're really destroyers. Uh, they've got the Arleigh Burke, Aegis, Modern, Aegis Destroyers, four times, VLS, Guided Missile, blah, blah, blah. And holding up the rear are going to be two frigates in this case. Oliver has a Perry, old, but still relatively effective. Arm launch, no VLS, but they'll be still doing their job. We've got two times support vessels. They are just support vessels, not armed. Got the carrier there, obviously, with its own defensive abilities, sea whiz and whatnot. Spread out, bow and stern now. We've got two sub-killers, so diesel... Um, SSK-87, so we've had to borrow from the Russians just in this case, but just pretend they're American. They are cruising at a depth of 30 feet, uh, periscope periscope depth at 17 knots. Realistically, they would be a little more spread out this. The subs would usually be ahead, scouting out for mines and possible attacks and stuff. But in this case here, it's, it's just pointless doing that because the entire attack will just take five minutes and it will be here. So we're going to keep them close here. Airborne assets that are already in the air. We already have two protective F-18s doing cap over the area, airborne, fully armed up to the teeth of AMRAMs. As well as that, like I said, as soon as the mission starts, F-14s will be continuously scrambling from here uh, because they realise an attack's happening. 
make it as hard as possible. As well as that, we've got AWACS in play giving coverage of the area. So they've got basically everything that they could possibly want. So let's talk about solutions. The solutions are going to come from you, the valued viewers. And you've already started off very well. You've got a whole bunch of solutions that we're going to talk about here. And we'll try as much as we can out. Um, I don't want to make this video you know, five hours, so we'll just try ones that we can get around to trying at the moment. The first things you guys discussed was subsonic anti-ship specific weapons. Let's talk about the RB-15F, the RB-04, the AGM-84D, the C-802 Chinese, and the Sea-Eagle. These are subsonic intelligent terminal guiding anti-ship weapons. We've got a problem with that. If myself and RC fires them, which we would have to do, the main problem I've spotted is that we cannot actually target the carrier. With these weapons, you fire them into a group, a fleet, and they choose their own target. You cannot ask them specifically to go for the carrier. So it immediately rules these out. And if you like, I'll go and show you. We'll go and take an RB-15, and there are some options we can change, but we can't ask the RB-15 to specifically go for that carrier. So as many as we fire, and we can only fire, well, four of them between myself and RC, they'll probably just hit these surface vessels here, the destroyer shields. And to be honest, even if they went for the carrier, a subsonic missile is almost certainly going to get shot by this, the ring of Seawiz and VLS. So I think it's pointless anyway. Next, and what we'll do is we'll take a MiG-21. And you guys want to nuke the fleet. Can we nuke the fleet? The biggest bomb we've got, I think it's called the RN-24, at about... 12 kilotons, something like that. And ideas are we could try tossing it. I mean, we could never get in for a normal bomb drop, like a CTIP bomb drop. We're just, you know, the F-18s will shoot us down. So we could try tossing it for 10 miles away. So coming up from the low terrain, put the SPRDs on to get extra height, quickly toss them, and then turn away. Or kamikaze, so just go in at Mach 2 and just sort of put them roughly in the right area. Um, we'll see. 15 kilotons, I'm being told. So yeah, why not? We'll try that. We don't have to survive, by the way. We can die doing this. Next, myself and RC can control T two TU-22 mics via the combined arms system. And we can, at range, fire ballistic anti-ship missiles. I think kitchens, they're called. We'll find out. Uh, these are incredibly powerful and fast ballistic missiles or semi-ballistic missiles that are literally designed for taking out carrier, group, carrier groups. And I think we can, even with that, target the, specifically the carrier. So we can try that. JDAM, JSAL toss, we can take a green button and we can toss a JSAL from 70 miles away or a JDAM from 30 miles away. We, mm, I don't know, I'm not convinced we're not just going to get shot down by the F-18s to be honest, but we can try it if you want. Um, no, you'd have to guide it in with a T-Pod, wouldn't you? God, that seems like really hard work, but we'll see. Cruise missiles. No, nothing says a cruise missile has to be used against land. We've got the AC-802 uh, AKG and SLAM with terminal TV guidance. That we could just launch these 100 miles away, well, nearly, and then guide them in via TV optical. Try it. Uh, low level attack. This is the one that I added that no one else thought of. I think this is this is the only way, realistically. The problem is you've got so many sensors interacting and, and such a big data link here system with the modern cruise uh, carrier group. The only real way is getting is defeating that sensor, and the only way I think we can do that is go low level. When I low mean low level, I mean RAF low level. I mean five feet off the ground. Uh, with suitable non-pop-up weapons. So we couldn't take bombs, because with bombs you'd need to pop up and get over the carrier. It wouldn't work. What if we found a weapon that we could use at five feet? Don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but that's, I reckon, our best bet. Next, submarine. Nothing says we can't use boats, ships. So myself and RC can control a, a, an attack, a hunter-killer, or a nuclear ballistic submarine each, and try and attack. Why not? Next, coastal artillery. What if we get essentially unstoppable bullets firing at them that can't be tracked well i don't know if they can be tracked we'll see uh two artillery units paladins whatever i don't know i haven't, I haven't got that far yet my idea again battle cruisers they send the biggest most powerful ship in the game in dcs we've got peter the great who is the only battle cruiser that we've got and just that is designed for doing exactly this job peppering sand burns or what are they called sand something or other sandboxes in uh, non-ballistic but incredibly uh, but supersonic low-level missiles to take out and I think we can target intelligently that particular uh, ship there we can do that from probably 200 miles away that's a big ask but any predictions about today uh, we're gonna have a hard time I, I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, the nukes maybe but other than that you don't you just think the nukes right okay well I think everything's gonna get shot down everything's probably gonna get shot down yeah this can be very hard. There's no doubt about it. Right. Um, 
Let's get to work. Okay, valued viewers, uh, this is going to be our first attempt. We are taking four times j cell high explosives each. We really need, just, need, just need to get, I think, one of these through for a £1,000 hit. So if we simultaneously launch eight, I reckon we might be able to get some through. We're starting 100 miles away because what we didn't realise is that we need to align them, which is going to take two and a half minutes. So we're going to use that time, altitude and speed. You ready, RC? Get a burner on. Heavens, don't forget to get that burner on, RC. Going up. Going up. Right, first thing, let's get those missiles aligning. Head ground mode on. Set them up at target of opportunity. Remember how to use the old Hornet. Instant fuse. I've got mine set up. Uh, I've got 9.45 on the clock. Where are you? There you are. I am going to follow in your wake so that we look like a single flight, maybe. Uh, as we speak, I can guarantee there are a whole bunch of F-14 scrambling and I guarantee also that the F-18s are on their way because they would have spotted us by now, I imagine. They're probably going to uh, soft lock us so we won't know until the missile hits us. Uh, going okay, to... Wait to Roger. Cat waypoint designated. Down. We've had to do some calculations because this is a GPS guided weapon. It will not track the ship per se, it will just track a point in space. So we've had to do some calculations about the speed of the ship, the flight time of the missile and stuff like that. So hopefully we're right. Uh, I don't see any reason why we can't treat and use F-10. Show the valued viewers what's going on. Okay, we're intercepted. The F-18s are now flying uh, subsonic question mark? Subsonic, that's their problem. And the F-14s have, wait, they're launching now as we speak, the F-14s are launching. Okay, we've got 40 seconds to launch, 40 seconds. I'm actually going for more altitude, RC. You can go you for are. more speed. Well, actually, I don't know, what do you think? I've not got the foggiest, to be honest. We're pretty high, 34,000 feet. Roger, I've got 80 miles, okay, we've got a, okay, let's keep going. Two and a half minutes until uh, time to maximum release. We are 25 seconds until we're aligned. Cheating look, where are those F-18s? They're coming. They're coming. They are. Oh, they're 56 miles away and going relatively slow because they're puny engines. So we might do this, RC. Okay. Right, we've got to fire simultaneously, so don't fire until I tell us you to fire. Cap is aligned. I'm going through to set the manual release up. Mission, I'm now going to send the targeting points over. So I'm going to go area track and send points sent over. Cap's ready to fire other than not being in, obviously. So range is the problem now, RC, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, at, I'm ten. At my, uh, Let's pages. climb up five degrees, RC, because I think we've got to get some more height in these birds. I think that's going to increase that range circle. So it's not going to be long now before the uh, first phoenixes come out, I imagine. Tomcats are scrambling and coming. Yeah, th that's helping the circle massively, so let's keep going up. Spike. Uh, F-18. Yeah. Almost in range. I'll give you just a few seconds after we get in TMR. One minute to going. range. I got 24 seconds to range. Do you? Yep. 20 seconds to range. And why is that? Keep going up, keep going up, just keep going up and it'll be better. I don't know, I'm worried that your waypoint's corrupted, but we'll try the best we can. I'm on waypoint one. Target designated. Yeah. Target says 59.6. Oh, mine's 49.6. Why is mine different? I don't know, that's your problem. I'm getting out. Missile away. Missile away. Missile away. Missile away. I'm out of here. That's Why an RC problem. Is it waypoint one? Yep. Yeah, I've got waypoint one. Oh, I got hit. I got my load away, though. Are you in range? Yep. Fire quick. Bah! Oh, you dodged the missile, you cheeky son of a gun. Right, well, we'll see where your missiles go. Okay, you can fight or run away or do whatever you want now. <sighs> I was a bit more pressured than I think it was going to be. Those F-18s just blasted towards us. Tom, where did the Tomcats go? Tomcats are just doing close escort. I'm surprised they didn't come after us. I mean, they are programmed to come and attack us so it's their choice if they don't want to attack us i wonder if they're going to try and shoot down our missiles look probably i think they go for they'll go for j cells now these are j cells obviously we could fire these 60 miles away but the j dams realistically maximum 20 25 miles i don't we're not getting 25 miles up here we'd never get close enough for j jams that's one thing we've learned 
Tomcat's coming out finally. Okay, yours are kind of starting to merge with mine now, which are good. We only just got close enough for Jay Sowers. So we can scratch Jay Dams off. I just can't figure out why my waypoint one was 10 miles off of yours. Wouldn't it be funny if the F-14s came and shot these things down? <laughs> oh, this is supersonic. Look, if I could do a uh, flyby, this would be a supersonic missile. This is some weird geometry going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I think I did give them phoenixes. Let me go and check actually on these guys. Yeah, I gave them phoenixes. I gave them everything they need to come and shoot this. Uh, you know what? That's a them problem. Did you remember to set yours to T-O-O, -O, all of your missiles? Yes, they're all set to T-O-O. -O. We watched these took on Darogas now shoot them from like 30 miles. <laughs> they will. Like, boom, no chance. They'll shoot it right down. Because the SA-15s would take them down, no problem. Okay, range. Ranga is, okay, 17 miles, so... And again, they're all programmed to fire us. You can see the fleet. There is the fleet. No, where's glory? Where's the carrier? There it is. I reckon these are so small that we, they probably can't lock us on radar at this range for these missiles. Oh, we're going on the deck here. Look, we're going for fancy. Maybe they know it's a shiplet. And they're like, ooh, we're going to go low. Or oh, it's going to crash either way. No way, RC. Look, what's that? <laughs> that was a waypoint one, probably. Mine blew up 10 miles before the goddamn thing. I wonder if mine were right on 10 miles then and yours were short. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> that might be it. Where, how are mine looking? They're look, let's see. Yours are looking superior. Yours are turning. Mine are, mine are indeed turning. Mine are like, is, I'm getting the sh S out of here. Uh oh, someone's fired. Uh oh, here we Although go. Although Rim's coming here out. Yeah. Ouch. Look, at, I love oh, how yeah. Rim's spin. It's so cool. I think mine are headed to the right sp sp spot. Oh dear. And yours, yours shell short. And minor miscalculation. I, well, why did mine work in practice then? And it's so unfair. Oh, we're going to see whiz. You know what? It's all. It all doesn't matter. We're all going to get shot. Look at that amount of sea whiz about to come out. Oh god! A rim just went right by it. Another rim went by it. Sea whiz. We're doing it. We're not. Well, we're, we're going to miss by the looks of it, but. We made it through. Okay, so mine were mine on were right target. On. I must have had a targeting one. problem. Yeah. Because I copied and pasted my plane. But, I mean, this shows the big problem. They all got through. I didn't think they would got through. They were slow firing, they're big and fat. But, it shows the problem with the GPS guided weapon in that we did calculations there to try and predict where the ship was going to be. Yeah, I can't but it's that. really hard because we don't know exactly when we can fire. We don't know exactly how long the missile is going to take. So, assuming you've got to fire it from 50 miles away, like we did, 60 miles away, you can't predict where that ship's going to be in 10 minutes' time, eight minutes' time, whatever it's going to be. And in real life, right. I bet that would take some slightly evasive maneuvers. So, I reckon GPS is out. What do you think? Yeah. Which is annoying. There's no it, way. I mean, a ship could turn too in that mm -hmm. period of time. Which is annoying because they actually got through, which was genuinely a surprise. All right, we're going to scratch GPS, guys, because we can't get clearly can't get close enough for J Dam, which and you know I'd have to we'd have to sit here and guess where that ship's going to be in eight minutes. It's not a suitable attack type, which is probably why they're not anti-ship weapons, I suppose. Right, we're going to go on to the next in the list. Stand by. Okay, welcome back, valued viewers. RC has desperately been shouting for this one, so we're going to do this one. We've got the RN24. We think that's about fifteen. Uh, kilotons of power. Now we've thought about different ways we can do this. With the experience of the F-18, I don't think we could ever get in high. Um, we can't toss these bombs very far, maybe maybe 10 miles maximum. So we think the best way is to go undetected low. We're going to go behind this small mountain range here, RC. In fact, you should be listening. When we are intersect that piece of land directly in our crosshairs, if you see there, we then need to turn to waypoint two, which means due north and go as low as we can and as fast as we can to close that 20 mile gap in the sea. Um, now, we're not going to get under the ship radar. We're just not going to, but we hopefully will be get, able to get under the Hornet radar, which is just not that good. Um, at long range looking down and the AWACS we might be able to get under the AWACS as well then when we're about 10 miles away if we're alive which we probably won't be we'll kind of pull up and do a toss okay I don't think do we'll over overdo it got to get low is the main thing so I'm going down say, um, radar did you say it's north is waypoint one so wait intersect the piece of land and then you're going to go north right. to waypoint two which is the ships right I am tick on tick on Right, so I've got all the lights on and I'm ready to fire. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be emergency um, power on as well. 
combat power on. Okay. Right, so we're going to hit this, and when we hit this, we're going to go north, and we should be able to kind of see the baddies at that point. So it's... Oh, okay, it's fighting already. That's an F-18. Okay, turn north, so look for the target. North. Yep. Okay. You're on your own now, basically. Right, where's my compass? Where's my oh. compass? There it is. What is the crap? I used to have a compass, I'll see. Okay, I'm heading north. I hear F-18 missiles coming in. I'm on north now. Looking for Tally. Oh my god, the, all the missiles are coming out at us. Right, gotta get lower. All the missiles are in the air, RC. Yes, they're blowing up. Oh, look, right next to my face. Uh -oh. Jesus, we don't know how, we don't know how much trouble we're in. Me. Right into me, I think. Are I you dead? Tally carrier, tally carrier. I'm going for the run. Oh, I'm hit! I'm oh, damn it. Go on, RC. Are you dead as well? I'm locked up. Frozen in midair. It looks desperately like this is not going to work because I was going under 50 feet there and I was just getting sniped by this. The Aegis. It's the Aegis destroyers. Their weapons are just so good. SM2s or whatever they've got. Anyway, we'll give it another go. Are you ready, RC? Right, I'm going to turn a little premature this time because I noticed we were turning slightly behind ourselves last time. Okay, I've broken the lock. I've broken the lock. Right, I'm going to concentrate on getting fast and low. Fast and low. Fast and low. Okay, looking for carrier. On vector. Okay, missiles out from the carrier, and I can see the carrier. There is no way we're going to get past that. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Stay on target. Stay on target. Jesus, I see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it works. All the missiles went for you, I see. Yeah. I'm in. Shit, I just hit my bomb on the ground. Quick, fly it now. Fling it now. 45 degrees and... Toss. Where's the goddamn bomb? Did the bomb go? Yes, it did. I can't find it. Where's the f***ing bomb? Bomb gone. Did you knock it off in the water? I knocked it off in the water. Oh, why, LC? Right, restart. Yeah, I've done that. None of my lights came on. Did your lights come on? You watch, I'll get through this time yeah. and the bomb won't work. All right, uh, I've got, my lights just aren't working. Right I don't have any, any lights that haven't come on, so let's just try and see what happens. I don't have a bomb. What's coming on? That's weird. Let me just re, uh, just re go in my... Just carry on, RC. I definitely got a bomb. I'm dropping my bomb somehow. I'll say I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm dropping my bomb. You carry on. If you hit the wrong switch, you'll drop the bomb. It's being problematic. Maybe I'm over it. Oh, I'm over it. That's why. I'm over it. Who would have thought being a MiG-20 pilot was so hard? Right, you got to suck up those missiles, RC. I already did. You're dead already? Right, you can guide me then. Oh, great. Missiles in the air. Yeah, guide you to your death. Guide me to glory for Oman and the oppressed Omanis. All right. Just head oh, let me know if my ahead. bomb's going to catch again. Uh oh. Well, I think what you did, you over G did, because that's probably what happened. Huh? Yeah. I've got ground suction. It's really hard to come out of ground suction. Out yet. I can see a goddamn Tomcat right in front of me. My en oh, I've over. I know what I'm doing wrong. My goddamn engine. I'm over, over running my engine. That's what I've done wrong. Right, I'm gonna try dropping it. And cap is bomb away. Why does the bomb not drop? It's gone, but it just disappears for some reason. Oh, this is stressful, RC. What the fuck is this not working? My bomb is disappearing, and I don't know why. You need to watch me and see why, when my, why my bomb's disappearing. Okay. Well, why? I'm going to try not to burn my engines out. I've been burning my engines out. Every of your uh, JDOs too. And they, yeah, that's a good point actually. They're going up. I'll use them on the up. Yeah. I wonder if I go so fast that my bomb falls off because I go so fast. It's a bit weird. Yeah, that right. could be just texture. I'm going to go mill power. Yeah, that's texture oh. bug. Okay, missiles out, tally, so let's get down. Really need to avoid this ground suck. Get you. And not. 
Not how I fly, RC, not how I fly. Okay, your valve is still there. Are the Tomcats there, boy? Because they can come right at me. No, I don't think so. I don't want to take my eye off you because I want to see okay. you. Watch your palm. I'm nearly in range, I think. Yeah, you're getting close. Oh, I see the Tomcats taking off. I'm going burners on now. Your Jados. I'm going for the pull. Jados on. Confirm Jados. Activated. Yep. Yep. Fired. Right. Is my bomb good? Is my bomb good? The mother load. Yep. The mother learned and country. Tell me when I should fire and when I should drop. Oh boy. Uh, drop it. Bomb away. Drop. Yeah, I can't trap. Oh, there's the bomb. There's the bomb. There's the bomb. Come on, baby. I should have got closer. I should have got closer. I can do this, yep. RC. I can do this. Ah, oh, I reckon I reckon that's two miles away, I'll see. And oh, we did damage. We did damage. I saw everything blow up on the carrier. We did All damage. Right. Where is that? That's it. Hit then. Yeah, the carrier decks blowed up. Oh, it's only done one pixel of damage. Oh, I don't know if that's a thousand pounds. But that is close. Should we do one more and just get closer, RC? Right, so I've got a time limit because those F-14s are going to be coming at me. So, all sorts of time limits going on here. Stay on target. Stay on target. There's the mother load. Everything beautifully balanced. It's okay, I see the Tomcats taking off. Getting too high. Okay. Okay, I see it. So keep an eye on those threats. Yeah, uh, there's one F-14 on. Oh. Uh, you got an 8-120 coming at you from the left. I don't think it's going to hit you or not. It's a ways out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all the 14s are launching, but they're moving away from you. Watch out. SPRE, RD's hit. If I need to go up, I've got to drop it, I've got to drop it. You got one missile out on you. I've done it. Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Yes, bomb! It's much closer. It's much closer, Rossi. That's going to really hurt. Boom! Yeah, that did loads of damage, look. Wow, everything just obliterated. Killed That's as close as I'm getting. Okay, there's only one pixel of damage again. So, it's, it's we're not sure whether we're fulfilling our uh, idea of putting over a thousand pounds of explosive. It's hard to tell. There's one pixel of damage we're doing, and I'm really not sure. So, that one's on the touchline, I think, I'll see. But what I can tell you is... Any, any other ships. Well, <laughs> well, I don't care about the other ships. But the important thing is, I can't get any closer because they're already phalanxing me at that point. Bearing in mind, we've got a realistic spread here of, you know, four miles or something. I can't get... That's Arley Burke there is phalanxing me. So I can't physically get any closer. So the most of damage we can do is one pixel, maybe two pixels. It's hard to say what that is. And we're not entirely sure whether that is it. While we've got time today, I want to try my idea of going low, even though we've kind of just proved it won't work because of the phalanxes, but we'll try. But I want to try it anyway. I think we took the, the nuke more or less as far as I can get. The problem is I just can't get any closer to the phalanx and I can't maneuver hard because that bomb will just rip off my aeroplane. Uh, so let's try something different. Now this is my idea. Low level attack with a missile that we don't need to pop up for. Uh, I was going to try SU-25. That is the perfect ship for this. However, because I noticed those Tomcats are taking off so quickly, I don't think we've got time. I think we need a supersonic plane. So we've got two land flankers here. Each of them has got four times S-25 rockets, which, sorry for my, I think they're, two, they're either 250 or 500 pounds of TNT each. They're the same as a bomb, basically. 
which gives us either 2,000 or 4,000 pounds of explosives, more than we, we need to go and do it. My idea is we do what we did with the MiG-21. We go in real fast and real low to get past the missiles, hopefully, and fast enough that we can beat the scrambling F-14s. We'll get past the phalanx by being in formation, okay? So I don't mean this type formation, but I'll be maybe a couple of hundred feet behind you, RC, and I'll use you, okay. use you to get through the phalanx because they'll all be focusing on you. And then I pop through, and then pow, 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 I get the hit on the carrier, okay? How do you feel about that? All right. Go. Oh, you want me to fly fast? But that would be ideal this time, RC. That would be ideal. <laughs> right, press the seven button, and that's all you got to do. Got aim it. and fire, aim and fire. It's oh, it very trim heavy, this aircraft, so yeah. lots of trimming. Okay, spacing's perfect. Stop rolling around now. We're going to be heading on 000, or slightly left of that. This lady keeps telling me the launch is authorised, which is yeah, a little bit distracting. Keep getting in range. Keep going left, 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 keep going left. Keep going left. And look for the carrier. Okay, carrier ahead. Okay. Right, you're gonna have to get low. Use your um, armchair mount or whatever it's called, Darcy. I am. You are. This is good flying, RC. This is some excellent flying. Right, just hold this and don't bottle it, RC, and we've got it. Sure, I almost scraped my belly there. Remember, we mustn't pop up, we mustn't pop up. That's, that's the natural thing to want to do, to pop up. I'm going to slide right just slightly to get behind your weight. Carrier on to the left here. You're still on max power, yeah? Yep. Gone out of my line just slightly, so I've lost sight. There you are. As a missile out, slightly lower. Fuck, fuck, right. fuck, there's a phoenix coming in! Oh. <laughs> That's it. You made it through so far, huh? Ah! ah dang it! Oh, that was frustrating, RC. We were so close. We're gonna have to try that again. It was the goddamn Tomcats. Phoenix in the face. Is that what it was? Yeah, I saw that come pretty much off the Tomcat. Right, this time I'm coming right in your wake, so make sure you're aimed, aimed at the carrier. She's still telling me the launch authorised, which is nice of her. Oh damn, the wingspan on this thing doesn't help. Right, I ain't getting much lower. Never you. Oh, ah, I must not swear. Family's watching, family's watching! I cannot get any lower. I cannot get any lower. I'm at two metres, two metres. Three metres, and that's from the middle of my aeroplane. One metre! I am 14. Now it's 7. I'm sitting at 2 meters. There's coming, well, there's a missile coming right at me. My screen is flashing for some reason, it's doing my friggin' epilepsy in. Coming up on it. Don't, don't uh, bottle it, don't bottle it, I'll see, don't bottle it. Cap, rockets away. God damn it, that was hard. Oh, I got all the way through. Oh, get so. Oh, uh, you know what? If I'd have, I mean, we've, got, we've got to do it again. I fired too early. I got all the way through to the carrier because they all concert all that failing is coming for you. They're not. Yeah. They're not clever enough to realise. Oh, there's a guy 50 feet behind him. Oh, there was a missile coming out of me too. Well, that's that's a you problem. But it means I can get through, which is great. And then the, the spinners hit me after that. Okay, check left a bit. Or do that. I locked it. Yeah. Oh damn it! I don't know what is going on with this thing. Man. I have to do repairs. So. Alright, I'll go on my own. I don't think I'll get rid of one.
it could for weeks it could work right and then all of a sudden so yeah that's right. so annoying that you've finally got an easiest problem that's annoying <laughs> not gonna lie Missiles away, missiles away. Right, missiles are out and I'm about to hit it. I think this is a thousand pounds of TNT at least. Boom, 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 yeah, that's he, and he's on fire. Oh man. Good job. I think all four of them here. We'd have what, to look in the tank for you. Ten percent. Ah, it's half dead. It's half dead. Yes, thousand pounds of TNT on it. Right. So the um, let me have a think. The they're just really powerful rockets. The nuke definitely didn't do it then because that was one pixel. But this got, well, what's that, 40% damage and it's on fire? So that definitely right. worked. Right, valued viewers, I think that's all we've got time for really today um, to look at that. We'll crack on next week and in the uh, viewers' description, see if you can think of other ways. Within the rules that we said, I don't want to just drive a um, Russian fleet into it. You know, anyone can do that. Uh, and, and see if we can find other ways of beating a, let's face it, realistic carrier group. Anything you want to add at this point, I'll see. Oh, I'm enjoyed that. See you later.